For Lock Hot Nautus Miller is the most spectacular stack beetle in the world. Nobody says it's not true. And we can very easily uh, breed them in bottles like this, pet bottles filled with sawdust of a uh, beach in this case and then inoculated with the mushroom Pleurotus pulmonarius, it's a normal oyster mushroom and when the mushroom has gone through the whole substrate it's the perfect food for the larva. Here you see the traces of the fresh of the one larva, then you see it everywhere, you see here a larva has gone through the substrate, eaten up also the mushroom mycelium, also here you see the traces and also here you see the part of the of the larva and I think the best you can see is here there's a really big fat larva of Phalacarnatus milleri, the rainbow stack beetle. They have a, a life cycle of around one year, nine to ten months and if we are lucky we can see them emerge here in these bottles in the pits got off. That's why I brought them here because we hope that they pupate in the bottles and then sometimes probably you see like a diamond shining through the pet bottle this green red metallic shine of the rainbow stack beetle then we can open the bottle to see that's what we did just before in the German channel of the same video and then we took it out of this bottle that was already eaten up and where the poop chamber was built by the larva here on the bottom and then we found the living animal in this substrate. And the living animal now is here in this box together with the other ones of the Fallacornatus Mulleri living. Here it is. This one. Look at this beautiful nice male. Males, you see, they have these bigger mandibles and they are satiny on the pronotum and they are extremely metallic shiny on the elytras where underneath the wings of the beetles are and also if you go if you see them from the bottom you will see an astonishing green finish I have a friend who is uh, working in the car industry and I told him if you can make this color to my car then I buy it <laughs> but he will never be able to make such a beautiful color for a car. Okay. So that's easy to breed at home also. If you want to do that, just look in the, in the internet, uh, you will find some uh, material. You also will find uh, living animals pairs that you can uh, bring to hobby positioning at, at home. In Europe it's a, a rare hobby at the moment, but in Japan it's a really huge industry producing uh, beetles. I mean, one of the, I think Japan is the with the best and most common hobby to breed uh, beetles at home. They also have uh, contests and and prizes for the biggest uh, animals that they can grow. And in fact, this animal it was so rare uh, 50 years ago they paid thousand dollars for one dried specimen. Today you can uh, buy them for about fifty to hundred dollars. A living uh, piece, so that came down because Japanese breeders found out how they can cultivate them. So it's um, it's not it could be an extinct animal if we have only protected the habitats. But because there are some people interested in cultivating them now, the, this uh, animal is not uh, in the danger of extinction anymore. Rainbow stack beetle. In Australia they call it the Christmas beetle because it's like a Christmas ball on the tree and because they have no snow they have these nice beetles at Christmas. Thanks for watching.